Hi, welcome back. Uh, so, in this video lesson, we will go through test analysis and one exercise. So, just to remind you, we are in the first chapter of our ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification course and we are talking about the second topic and that is test analysis and design. So, as usual, let us take the scenario that already we have taken in the previous exercise and build on that to understand test analysis in a little clear manner. So, this scenario already we went through. You are a test manager responsible for testing loyalty card section of your company's website and the functionality of the loyalty card system allows users to perform the below tasks. So, it will help you to include comparison of the three levels bronze, silver and gold and customers will be able to learn about their card levels new customers will be able to register and log in and they will be able to check their current points balance they will be able to spend points on flights hotels and car hire and they are also able to list all subset of bookings so we have talked about these features so the same features remain and the previous experience is that the senior manager was, management wasn't happy with the last product where many defects have been reported by users and that has been blamed on poor testing. So, in your judgment, it was among many reasons about poor requirement specifications also. Currently, the company is building the new project and it has been split into two parts. One is the engine part and the web part. And in the engine part, the calculations will be done and this development work has been outsourced to a team outside another country. They work in different time zone and the development team takes responsibility for unit test and integration test and system test is responsibility of your team. So, that is the engine part and the second part is the web part which is done by a team that is near you and they are following agile like development model and there will be no requirement specification by this team and in this again web part development activity is starting early and it is going to be finished early but web part and engine part have integration so keep that in mind and then management is very concerned about the usability for this product but you don't have usability testers and also security is a very important issue so the company has hired an external specialist to take care of that so that is not your responsibility but because you are owning the system test responsibility you have to work with those people and ensure that security testing is done properly. Now, for this exercise, you have created a test plan already and in that features to be tested, you have two features that you have put. One is the features to be tested, seven is login functionality and features to be tested, eight is your registration of new users and the test strategy for this project has specified security testing and security testing takes place in two steps. The first step is uh, features that have vulnerability risks are tested using specification based testing techniques like the regular functional testing. In the second step specialists in security testing are hired to test with their specific knowledge more detailed level security assessments will be done. So, that is what has been outlined in your test strategy document. You have to always very carefully look at these things. In the test plan, you have two features to be tested login and registration of new users and in the strategy, there is a significant amount of things have been written about security testing. So, the exercise is in the requirement specification, lot of requirements are there. These are the requirements in this release, they are very important. The R15, the system shall have a login window. R15.1, the login window shall contain a username field and 15.2, the login window shall contain a password field. 15.3, the login window shall contain a login button and 15.4, the login window shall contain a register now button. 
and 15.5 when the username fill, field is filled in with an existing username and password field is filled in with the corresponding correct password the system logs in and when the login button is pressed the system logs in the user. 15.6 when the login button is pressed and the username is not existing or the password does not correspond to the username the system opens a dialog, dialog box called invalid login. These are the requirements in this release and you have to test them. Now your team the test analysts have identified the below test conditions. So the first test condition is test that the system has a login window ok. The second test condition test that the login window has a username field. Test condition 3 test that the login window has a password field and the test condition 4 is test that login window has a login button and test that the login window opens when a user logs out and test condition 6 is test that the system logs in when correct username password combination is given and the login button is pressed. So these are the 6 test conditions that have been identified by your test analysts for the requirements that have been specified for this release and whatever is there in the test plan the features to be tested is there and also there is some amount of uh, features have been identified for test strategy part. Okay. Now let us look at the exercise. So what you have to do is that you have to fill in. So you have to use some traceability and for each of the test condition you have to identify which requirement is being fulfilled and which item in the test plan is being fulfilled and which item in the test strategy document is being fulfilled. So that, that is the traceability exercise you have to do that. So in this exercise I am not going to do for you. You have to complete this exercise. So for every exercise for every topic we have more than one exercise. I suggest and encourage you to go there to the Code Tantra database and pick out the right exercise and fill in and compare your work with the right solution that has been put there. So example for the test condition 1 it is based on R15 and feature to be tested 7 some part I have filled for you but rest of the part you have to fill and the second part of your exercise is that based on your traceability you have to find what is missing that is which provisions of source document is not covered by your test conditions. This is what you have to do it. So first you as soon as you build the traceability you should you will be able to find. So you have to be very thorough and detail oriented in building this traceability and identify each minute point and that is the nature of a test manager to be extremely thorough with respect to this traceability exercise. For example, what is missing? We can tell that the requirement 15.4 and 15.6, the register new user uh, in the at least uh, I can easily find out that the test condition has not been identified. So you have to do that exercise and complete the exercise and compare your notes with the solution provided and in the Code Tantra platform you have more exercises and I encourage seriously to do all the exercises and build a thorough clarity on this topic called test analysis. So hope you have enjoyed this lesson, learn and have fun.